Hello, I'm Almudena Vicente Franqueira, and in this video of the Digitally Competent Educational Organizations course by the INTEF, we will talk about leadership and governance practices and the influence they have on digitally competent educational organizations. Given the challenges and problems educational organizations have to face nowadays, we can say without fear or error that there are few management positions more difficult and with a higher level of commitment involved than managing an educational organization. We often think that the people occupying management positions are bold, but when it comes to management positions in the education field, it takes more than boldness, it takes real bravery and courage to do the job. These additives help us shape the personality of the members of the school management teams. However, the educational work environment is so complex that we need two concepts to better grasp the responsibilities of the school management. These concepts are leadership and governance. In recent years, there is a lot of literature on leadership in business management and more specifically in education. The overuse of the leadership concept has led to a certain loss of its meaning. It has been treated as kind of an all-purpose concept and a solution to all organizational shortcomings, even if their cause is purely circumstantial and it transcends a leader's capacity to transform reality. We can distinguish between two types of leadership. There is the management leadership, which focuses on roles and tasks that ensure the proper functioning of the educational organization. And then there is the transformational leadership, which focuses on creating new alternatives for implementing more or less ambitious initiatives of change in the organization. Governance refers to a set of practices that help implement the concepts of management and transformational leadership in an effective and proper manner. In other words, there is a clear link between the leadership model and the governance model implemented in educational organizations. At the same time, both management and transformational leadership and governance are meant to serve pedagogical leadership, also called learning leadership. This means that their ultimate goal is to serve the students and help them improve their learning process. Thus, the students are at the heart of the school's mission, vision and strategies. It's undeniable that nowadays we cannot talk about leadership without mentioning distributed leadership. The fact that leadership is distributed among all the actors involved in the educational organization is the true force that holds the learning leadership together. We do not defend nor look for heroic leadership. We claim systemic, helpful and situational leadership and ultimately teaching leadership. DICCOM or acknowledges this perspective on leadership and governance and it identifies three sub-elements for the leadership and governance practices cross-sector element. Integration of digital age learning is part of the overall mission, vision and strategy. The strategy for digital age learning is supported by an implementation plan. A management and governance model is in place. This outline describes an innovation sequence that begins with the planning stage which focuses on the triad mission, vision, strategy and continues with the development stage which will be put into practice according to a concrete action plan. The plan includes taking appropriate measures which are going to be implemented by the management and governance using a comprehensive approach. Each sub-element encompasses several descriptors. Thus, various descriptors are defined with regard to the sub-element integration of digital age learning is part of the overall mission, vision and strategy. The potential of digital learning technologies is clearly flagged. Benefits of digital learning technologies are communicated. The strategic plan encompasses digital age learning. Open education is an aspect of public engagement. These descriptors provide an overview that is meant to convey the importance of technology in the learning process and its ability to create educational processes that go beyond the classroom and even beyond the school. Technology opens a lot of doors and we want to take full advantage of its potential for learning purposes. These descriptors are applicable to all educational organizations from primary schools to universities. 
Each educational organization can choose to use whichever descriptors are more suitable for its particular case. The strategy for digital age learning and its implementation plan encompasses the following descriptors. Planning builds on enablers while addressing barriers. Internal stakeholders have a degree of autonomy. Opportunities, incentives and rewards for staff are identified. Digital age learning is aligned with broader priorities. There are twin goals of modernizing existing educational provision and offering new opportunities. In other words, integrating technology in a digital organization is not immune from problems and difficulties. Nevertheless, good planning can help minimize potential obstacles and maximize the strengths and opportunities provided by the environment. And finally, the descriptors related to the management and governance model are there is a shared understanding of commitment and the implementation plan. Management responsibility is clearly assigned. Resources are aligned with budgets and staffing. The outcomes, quality and impact of the implementation plan are reviewed. A specific initiatives or pilots are evaluated. Implementation status is benchmarked. Oversight of policy and direction is evident. Without a doubt, management and the ability to put into practice appropriate governance strategies is key in the development of the implementation plan discussed above. Schools are complex professional environments, and in such environments, anticipation, critical analysis, and assessments are essential. In the end, a digitally competent organization should have a well-defined educational vision, which is clearly communicated to the educational community. Digital learning technologies should be a cornerstone in this learning-focused vision. Furthermore, this vision based on technology is articulated in short and medium term implementation plans which are subject to regular monitoring in order to ensure the success in all areas of the organization. To sum up, leadership and governance are both the starting point and the means to attain a digitally competent educational organization. The other fundamental element that will help achieve this goal is the collaborative work both online and offline which the educational community has to carry out.